In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. This morning we celebrate Saturday, the 26th week in Ordinary Time. We celebrate this morning Mass in times of pandemic. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. I have dealt with great things that I do not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I cannot know. I had heard of you by word of mouth, but now my eye has seen you. Therefore, I disown what I have said and repent in dust and ashes. Thus the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his earlier ones. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand she-asses, and he had seven sons and three daughters, of whom he called the first Jemima, the second Kezia, and the third Karen Hapuk. In all the land, no other women were as beautiful as the daughters of Job, and their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years, and he saw his children, his grandchildren, and even his great-grandchildren. Then Job died, old and full of years. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Lord, let your face shine on me. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. I know, O oh Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. 
According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The 72 disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. I mentioned at the beginning of this week, as we opened, if you will, the book of Job, the Job and Ecclesiastes Koheleth, probably two of the toughest books for Christians to read and to f- completely understand or appreciate. And, you know, if you've got your Magnificat or your Missal in front of you, you realize that in this past week, we didn't even get the Reader's Digest version of Job. We got the abridged of the abridged of the abridged. This is chapter 42 today. But what is it about Job and Koheleth that I think are so challenging for us. Job, Koheleth, in what I call a brain, are, if you will, the height of classic Jewish theology which doesn't 
have a sense of afterlife. You will read in some Jewish, you know, Old Testament Jewish scripture, a sense of the afterlife. But in some works, it's very, very vague or vestigial. And where it seems more developed, it's because it's later writing. It's after Jewish theology has been influenced, not by Christianity, but by the Greeks who had a sense of an afterlife. You know, Koheleth, you know, vanity of vanities, what's anything worth? My conclusion, eat, drink, and be merry because you're going to die. And how many chapters did he spend on that? And in Job, we've got 42 chapters. Most of it's say, Job saying, I didn't do anything wrong. Why are you making my life miserable? Because classic Jewish theology was, you do good, everything's wonderful. And that's where we ended up. All his possessions came back. He ended up having more kids and even saw his great-grandchildren and he died, and done, but full of years, so everything's cool. But there were 42 chapters of what went wrong. His friends, which we heard a little bit this past week, well, maybe you did it, and you didn't know it. No, I didn't, says Job. I didn't do anything wrong. So what's going on with me here on earth? No sense of afterlife. Now remember, the Christian doesn't say, okay, I want to suffer here because to the extent that I suffer here, I'm happy in heaven. That's not correct either. But to the extent that we accept all of our life, the bad as well as the good, and we turn all of that and our response to it over to God. That's what puts all of this bad and good in perspective. And that's also what gets us beyond, both theologically, spiritually, and eventually, Literally. Longing to see God's face, we turn to him, who reveals himself to us in love with our needs and petitions. For all members of the church, may each of us be filled with faith as we live out our mission to share Christ's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For civic leaders, may they be given the grace to be instruments of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who struggle with doubt, who long to see what the disciples saw, may they be strengthened by God's infinite love. Let us pray to the Lord. For this community, may we taste and see God's goodness in the Eucharist, and so be empowered to carry out the mission entrusted to us. Let us pray to the Lord. For Thomas Gibbons and for all who have passed away, may they rest in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, you come to us in our struggles. We entrust these needs to you remembering that you can do all things through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us, by your power, a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father of mercies and faithful God, for you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for the children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O Lord, who love the human race and who always walk with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Nelson our Bishop, his assistant bishops, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. 
Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us all preach on the side of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, Grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world that no flesh may glory in your sight and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore, grant we beseech you that filled with like humility we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. Memorare, remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your, 
or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. Novena Prayer O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Blessed Mother, as we pray in the Memorare, we beg you to intercede with your Son, the Lord Jesus, to heal those folks who are seriously ill. There's Kathy, eight Jims, Henry, Shirley, two Nancys, Jeff, Mary Lynn, Marta, Mary Beth, three Mary Beths, Mike, two Bridgets, Linda, Charlotte, and Bill. 
two Michaels, two Rachels, two Connies, Fred, baby Kaler, baby Evan, baby Bennett, and baby Nova, Susan, Patricia, two Anns, Tim, Mario, Barry, two Janets, Philomena, Leon, Dave, Jay, Dennis, Walter, Anita, Paige, Norman, Lou, a man, Deirdre, Anita, Vic, Tony, Patrick, Andrew, Corey, two Franks, two Bryans, B-R-Y-A-N and B-R-I-A-N, Jesse, Randy, Helen, Loretta, Teresa, two Bobs, two Johns, two Michaels, Gabby, two Claires, Gabrielle, Mary, Rosie, Anne, three Joes, two Dans, two Ellens, Taylor, Christopher, Candace, Bill, Dorothy, Kathy, Elaine, Charlotte, Barbara, Jane, Pat, Tori. That concludes the list for those folks who were enrolled after the COVID-19. The following list will be those folks who had their name on the list prior to the COVID-19 problem. Uh, somebody added this morning, President Trump and Melania, and I've removed them temporarily because from President Trump's own lips, he and Melania only have a mild case. So I'll follow up on the news broadcasts, although he's going in for 10 days of uh, uh, isolation. And uh, we'll keep track of, of in case his uh, problem becomes more serious. And then somewhere during the middle of the week, uh, I'll add uh, those names back to the list. But they are not at this point, thank God, seriously ill. Um, now, this list is for those folks who were on the list prior to uh, COVID-19. And for those of you who don't have any members of your family or relatives or friends who were on that list and care to remain, you're welcome to do so. Otherwise, you may quietly leave the church right now and I'll go through the remainder of that list. It's quite lengthy, about 100 people on here. But we have Rosemary, Henry, Linda, Joanne, Kevin, Leah, two Dawns, Gary, David, Marlene, Frank, John Joseph, Paula, two Donnas, Piero, Nancy, Jeff, Sophia, and Barbara. Patricia, Anne Marie, Keenan, Jason, Cheryl, Debbie, two Cathy's, Olivia, Sue, Robert, excuse me, two Roberts, Dottie, Mary, two Kathleen's, Emily, Reagan, Catherine, Sean Patrick, Shelby, Leonard, Mary Beth, Tim, Todd, Abigail, Paul, Terry, Betty, two Lorries, Janet, Heather, Randall, Stephen, John, Mary Ann, Leonard, Bridget, Mary M. That concludes the list, the prior list. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.